Uh, you can talk a lot about video games, but when you get to the real world, which involves your health, well, we have the most epic story here. For more than a year and a half, we have a CEO whose life has been anything but a video game. Paul Rains is the CEO of GameStop. He's been in an epic battle with brain cancer, but here you see him right now, live on our air. You look terrific. You beat it, right? This is great to have yep. you here on Fox Business exclusively. Thank you, Liz. It's great to be here with you. And uh, sorry I missed you in March, uh, but Cheryl was very kind to us as well. But it's great well, to be with you. We're thrilled that you keep coming back to us because you have a most <laughs> incredible story. You know, today GameStop announced a major acquisition. You're buying geek-themed yes. retailer GeekNet. You, you yes. beat out Hot Topic, which I found fascinating, too. $135 million. But, Paul, uh, you know, let's just get, I think, to the issue of what really matters to a lot of viewers. You are such a successful businessman, but... Uh, suddenly you're, you're derailed by a brain tumor. How did you get through that experience and, and what was it that got you through it? Well, you know, uh, Liz, I'm, I've always been a person of a, of a lot of faith and I think that, uh, you know, God has a plan for all of us. And, um, you know, when you face something like uh, our family did, we, uh, we know that God has a plan for us and we have to, through his love, demonstrate uh, to others how, uh, how we can bear our cross and still carry forward a company. You know, at GameStop, we believe in protecting the family and making life better for our associates and our employees and our shareholders as well as our customers. And, um, you know, I've found that uh, there's a lot of great cancer survivors in this world, and there's a lot of great stories out there. So I would say a lot of faith, Liz, and, and, uh, and, and really... Uh, continuing to uh, to push forward. Well, well, it's working. It's working because we're thrilled to have you back. But it's, it's working for GameStop, too. You guys killed it on Q1 earnings. You have profits that are up 15 percent. But let's talk about the GeekNet acquisition that was announced sure. today. What does it bring to you and GameStop? Yeah, we uh, we know GeekNet pretty well. You know, we've uh, first of all, uh, Think Geek, which is their subsidiary that develops unique uh, products using a lot of their licenses. Uh, you mentioned Star Wars earlier. They have a lot of licenses around Marvel and some others. Uh, you know, that company has been one of the most requested uh, associate uh, requests uh, in our history. You know, we've got a lot of people who are buying Think Geek products in our stores today and have been for a while. And also our Power Up Rewards program, when we send customers out, Rewards coupons, Think Geek products have been one of the ones they request. Uh -huh. So we've known the we've known the company, and as we looked at it and we saw some of the synergies, uh, you know, it seemed like a natural. Well, you know, you talk about Star Wars. The movie's coming out soon. How much do you believe that will juice the Star Wars game purchases? Well, we think obviously that it will uh, definitely help, and uh, of course, we're trying to get ready for what we hope will be one of the biggest properties you know in history and uh, as part of that we need to assemble all of our licenses we also have you know licenses through other partners for Star Wars as well mm -hmm. but uh, think geek will definitely and geeknet will definitely help our portfolio of licenses Super Mario has been huge but but Nintendo not so much because my kid loves Mario Kart and all that insanity you have to tell me is that what's really going to drive your numbers in Q2 because we have analysts who are saying uh, we're not so sure about Q2 for GameStop yeah, well, you know, the Q2 on the video game side, and, you know, we've, it, what's interesting, Liz, when you and I first started talking, you know, right. we would just talk about video games, and today here we are with a billion-dollar digital business and mobile businesses and now a loot business and collectibles. But on the video game side, we have uh, two big titles, Witcher and Batman, which will be very meaningful in the second quarter. Now, as far as Nintendo, don't forget, their Amiibo business is off the charts, and I'm sure you got a few of those figures at home, yes, but they've I been do. able to license that, and it's, it's gone pretty well. They're not fun to step on in the middle of the night. I've no, experienced that. No, <laughs> <laughs> your, your stock is up 19, 20% over the past year compared to the S&P yeah. being up just 9%. So, Paul, you and the team doing a great job. You got five upgrades today on price targets. I find it all fascinating, too. So thank you so much for being here. And my 11-year-old still wants wants me to get a second job at GameStop, just uh, where, where I live in Englewood. <laughs> well, you know, Liz, we're waiting on you, and, uh, and tell him to send me an email anytime. We'll figure out a way to help him. I, I shall. Paul Raines, GameStop CEO, good luck to you, and we're so glad you're back and, and better than ever. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. God bless you.